It's a scary story about a young boy. He imagines there's a hideous monster lurking in the darkness in a lonesome place in his neighborhood. Every night you, you sit there in the comfort bed and safety of your own. But you have no idea what's going on outside in the darkness. Not far from your home, there's a dark and lonely place. You may not know about it, but it, it's there. All over the country, small towns and cities. There's so not so many these dark there's so many these dark and lonely places. When I was a young boy, I lived in a small town. Johnny Gregg lived across the street from me. I was friends with his big brother. He was just a baby then. I saw him grow up. I never paid much attention to him. Sometimes in the evening my mother would send me out to a local store to buy a carton of milk or a bag of sugar on the way to the shop or I had to pass a long dark stretch of road. During the day it was just a shabby place lined with old gargle trees and vacant lots and nothing had been built and nothing's ever going to be built. I was never afraid of it by day but at night it was a different place a lonesome place, a place of darkness and strangers, a place of terror and fear. There's no house nearby, no street lights. It is pitch black, as black as black could be, dark as the starkest night, or the deepest night. The tall trees dot out the moon and stars, casting their long shadows across the road. Wherever they had to go that way, you walked slower and slower. It was like stepping into a dark tunnel. But Behind you were the lights of the houses, the sounds of cars and people walking along the sidewalk. The sidewalk. Any of you, it was just a long, lonely stretch of the darkness. You ain't some anything could be lurking, anything at all. Every time I had to pass that place at night, I would dread it, but I kept hoping someone would come along so I wouldn't have to walk alone. I know if he ever came. As I walked along the dark stretch of the road, oh, I could keep my eyes, I'd keep my eyes fixed on the trees. I was to see something, or someone looking there in the darkness. Perhaps it's the bogeyman. My mother had told me about the bogeyman, and how he waited in dark places for boys and girls who strayed from the path. Perhaps it's a child predator. My mother had always warned me against these men who tried to lure children. We promised to candy and puppy dogs. Perhaps it's something else, something worse. Out of the corner of my eye, I could catch a glimpse of misshapen figures crouching there in the pitch black, waiting for a moment when they burst forth and pounce on me. Then in that silence, and I say to her, it would get telling me, rendering me, and it would do it unspeakable things to me, and no one would ever see me again. Not sure what I expected to see lurking in that landy face at night. My imagination always got the better of me. In my mind it was a hideous creature, somewhere between animal and man. It had long spinning limbs and huge sharp claws. It wet slimy skin and always a burn like fire. Oh, I imagine it hiding in the branches of those old trees, trooping down without a sound and stalking the unmarried boys and girls who pass along the dark and lonely road at night. One night, it almost caught me. I was walking down the lonely road and all of a sudden there wasn't, wasn't any light up ahead. That's when I knew it was coming. I just felt it waiting in there in the darkness. I started running desperate to get away. Oh, I could feel it behind me. It's gaining on me. I could feel his breath on the back of my neck. I ran. I ran as fast as I could. I ran until I thought my heart would burst. You always had me scratches. But I managed to get away. When I got back to safety at my house, it looked, I looked to myself in the mirror. There was a long jagged bit in the back of my shirt. There was a sharp claw. I tried to grab me and just missed me by an inch. That scared me real bad afterwards. I ain't going down that lonely road. They only never. Some night I won't come back. I warned my mother. She just laughed and told me not to be silly. There's something out there in the dark, I told her. There's nothing there in the dark that isn't in the light. He assured me. What do animals know about the world? 
Go on, let's think they know everything. They play so fast in what they read. Are they worried what they is reported in newspapers and on TV? I drive around their cars. They don't have to walk anywhere at night. They don't know what goes on out there in the dark. The wretched only places where they no light. And the shines are not the same as like a cloud on the ground. And no bird ever sings. I knew you wouldn't believe me. I knew there was nothing I could say to convince them. And some, that something or someone lived down there, among the trees on that dark and lonely stretch of road. As I grew older, I gradually forgot about the little lonely road. I got taller. I went to Turley school. I played, started playing football. I learned to drive. I stayed dating girls. The years passed by and somehow I forgot about that thing that lurked there in the darkness. The memory of it remained in a distant corner of my mind. It was like it was a memory locked away in the childhood. The years passed by. I never thought about the other kids. Who had walked down that dark and lonely road at night. Three days ago, Johnny Craig went missing. He lived across the street from me. I was friends with your big brother. He just had a baby then. Oh, I saw him grow him up. Oh, I never paid much attention to him. Not until he went missing. Found in the trees in a dark and lonely stretch of road. Your body was torn and ripped and crushed, almost beyond recognition. The police said he'd been mauled by some kind of animal. I only heard about it. I knew what happened. Johnny Craig had been murdered by the thing my tried to feel as a creative, a thing I conjured up in my imagination. I left it on the dark and lonely stretch of road. I left it there to wait for some scared little boy. I had to be walking home at one dark night. I didn't know he couldn't run as fast as I could. After that, the town cut down the trees and put up the street lights. The stretch on the road is a dark and lonely anymore. I think that lonely is now gone. He's gone somewhere else when the people are unexpected to some other small town. A small town like yours. Well, wait again, just as it here. It will wait for some other frightened little boy or girl to come along. It's only a matter of time. School for kids. Ha <laughs> ha!